Are you looking to advance your character design skills? Visit silverdrawingacademy.com. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another art talk. So today I wanted to talk about using your dark side. And what inspired this was I was just listening to a short clip by um, an author named Robert Greene, who's written some just amazing books on creativity. And the point is just using your dark side as an artist, there may be that dark side within you, there may be that pain, there may be that struggle, and you wanna be able to use that in order to create something better or something that you didn't even think about using before. Again, you might be doing it through book illustration, you might be doing it through painting, you might be doing it through many different avenues of art, but the idea is not to just take that pain and say, I have pain, I'm suffering, I don't enjoy what I'm doing, I don't like this, I don't like that, I've had this happen in my life. Again, whatever these instances are, Try to think about how you can use that and don't let it stop you because the most important thing that we can ever do is just constantly take action and not let these things just hold us back, not let it keep us in bed. Just We're going to always go through some sort of funk. You're, I, I believe you're always going to go through some sort of dark side of something. Your, your mind is just going to take you into different places. You're going to start wondering, am I doing the right thing? Am I pursuing the right path? Am I doing the right career? Is this the job that I, I thought I really wanted. Am I working at a job doing something right now that I don't really enjoy? There's got to be something better than this, right? There's so many different voices that are going to happen in your head and go on in your head. Again, that's just part of being human. And that's just part of life. And we're artists and there's musicians, there's, there's bankers, there's real estate agents, there's mortgage brokers, there's <laughs> doctors, there's everything out there. And I believe that everyone has it. You're all going to go to it. Just artists can be a little bit more sensitive, okay? And that's okay. And there's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing wrong with that. We think in a different way. But if we can start to just capture the way that we think and really just start to go, okay, I am like this. This is who I am. This is what my mind is. This is what my mind always does. I always end up going down that road. I always start thinking like this. So start to just have that awareness is number one, that you have that, but then just start to harness it. And how can I use this dark side of whatever I have to try to motivate me or push me just a little bit further and take me to that next realm, which I didn't think was even possible, that next level that you're really trying to get to. Again, nothing is gonna be easy. And if we stop thinking that it's easy and just have this form of acceptance that, yeah, I'm going through this, this sucks. I'm not feeling it today. I don't even know what to draw. That drawing that I'm working on right now is horrible. It's not what I want it to be. I'm, oh my God, I just did that rough sketch, but now I got to clean it up and my cleanup doesn't look as good as my rough. My painting doesn't look as good as my rough. Whatever it may be, it's just part of it. So again, you can either keep resisting it, you can keep fighting it. Otherwise, we can just start to embrace it, embrace it. I choose to personally embrace it. I go through different funks all the time. It comes and it goes. But again, the most important thing is I feel like I definitely have learned to control it and just through my own awareness and my own surrender to it and just knowing that this is reality. Okay, here we go again. But also not trying to just create these problems, which oftentimes, like Mark Twain said, never occur, right? They're in our head, they're spinning, going on and on. And the most important thing that you can do is put whatever thing you're working on into practice. Just just try it. See, see, test it, right? And that, that oh, I got this idea. I don't know if it's going to work out. Don't stop it. I don't know if it's going to work out. Make sure that you put that test into action and see if it does work out. Oh, I, I really feel like I should charge my clients more. I'm, I'm just not charging enough. Let me on my next client, I'm going to charge him a little bit more and see what happens. Oh my God, I charged him some more money and they didn't even bat an eye. Oh my God, I can do this. This is okay. And then you keep moving forward. It builds up momentum. So that's really important. All right. So try to harness that dark side for the positive use it in order just to help you just move forward in where it is that you want to go. All right. Make it a great day. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care. Join SDA for less than a dollar a day and drastically improve your skills at silverdrawingacademy.com.